In this video, I'm going to show you how to use keyframe graphs in CapCut Desktop so that your keyframing doesn't look linear and you can get some nice smooth motion. So let's get into it. Right, I've got these three clips here of some surface falling over. What we'll do is uh, we'll do some zooming in and some moving around and uh, then I'll show you how to access the keyframe graphs and uh, make the motion smoother. So the first step is to put in some keyframes, otherwise we won't have any keyframe graphs to look at. So first of all, let's zoom in to this guy. Let's perhaps zoom in uh, at the beginning of the clip or in the first half of the clip. And let's zoom in, in up to here. Um, Yep, and that's now keyframed. So we have our two keyframes, as you can see here on the timeline, with these um, two white diamonds going from 100% to 218%. So if we play that back without any keyframe graph changes. Right, yeah, very linear indeed. So what we want to do, in fact, I think I'm going to actually move this keyframe up a bit. So the movement happens in a shorter space of time. It's still extremely linear looking. Right, so now to access the keyframe graphs, what we do is we right click on the clip. We come down here where it says show keyframe animation, click there. And then this gray box appears at the top. And if we hover over this drop down arrow here, it says, it says show keyframe graphs. So here we have our two keyframes. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit more. Okay, so this keyframe here is highlighted or selected, and then we also have this keyframe here. We can select that one if we want to. So what we do is, once we have a keyframe selected, we come here and we click this auto curve button or icon, and that will just automatically ease the curve. And then we do it again here. And hey presto, we have already a nice eased curve. So let's have a look. All right, that was a lot smoother. All right, and you can grab this handle here if you want to modify that. So you can do that. You can do so. Uh, you might want to do that. Let's try that. All right, and the same here. If you click the um, keyframe, then the handle appears, and you can adjust it. So. You can freely adjust that to, to get it exactly how you want it. If you want it back on linear, you just click here. But that what that does is it it just removes the easing that we had on there. But obviously, you don't we don't want that. Okay, that's the first clip. Now let's have a look at another one. So let's perhaps do a little bit of panning here. So we'll first of all zoom in. Keyframe. Now let's um, move the image, start over on the left. And then well, well, what we can do actually is we can zoom out. So let's go to here. This time we'll put it on 100%. And we'll adjust the panning, but let's just, uh, right. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to this keyframe here and we'll put everything back at zero so how's that look all right linear as you like okay now let's show keyframe animation click here right and let's get our keyframes and now check it out Okay, yeah, that's just smoother, nicer to watch. All right, and then we could do it one more time. Let's see if we can actually do a pan this time. So we want the whole thing zoomed in all the way through. And uh, yeah, we'll zoom, we'll pan from right to left. So this is the starting point. We'll keyframe that, and then the end point will be here. Okay, 
arms and legs flailing. So let's see how that looks. Bit wobbly there, and I think that's the camera on the original shot. But okay, uh, now let's go into our keyframe graphs. And again, auto curve and auto curve. And let's have a look. Yeah, that's that's what we like. So let's uh, let's go back and watch the whole thing. Nice and smooth. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. There is a link in the description below to sign up to CapCut Free. Uh, have a nice day.